Hey, this is Kevin Rail, Chief Fitness Advisor for Train for Longevity and Pine Pollen Superfoods. And today, we're going to be talking about reasons why you should work out barefoot. As you can see, I am barefoot right now and I'm standing on this artificial turf. So, the first reason is very simple. Balance. When you're wearing a thick, spongy shoe, your heel is pitched up off the ground like this, and I'm exaggerating a little bit. So about like that. So when you're walking around, your body adapts to that elevation, and you're technically off balance. So when you're walking around the gym and you're lifting weights, and you have those thick, spongy shoes on, you're really kind of off balance, because it's like you're standing on a sponge. So when you're for lifting things over your head, or if you're doing any kind of, even bicep curls or whatever, you're gonna be a little bit off balance. So if you're barefoot, you're gonna be able to smack your foot right into the ground like that, and you're gonna be grounded much better. And speaking of grounding, that's gonna be the next thing I'm gonna talk about. Grounding is when you walk out onto a grass field, for example, and you collect negative ions from the earth. It's also known as earthing. So when you're wearing shoes and you're working out outside, you can't do that because there's a barrier there between your foot and the ground. When you get all those negative ions, it puts your body into homeostasis, which means it helps balance all your systems, it helps improve your brain function, it helps improve your digestion, it helps improve your mood. All these wonderful benefits occur when you're grounding or earthing. And the only way you're gonna get those is if you work out outside on the grass barefooted. If you're wearing shoes, you're not gonna get it. You might get a little vitamin D from the sun, but that's about all. Now, another thing, another benefit of working out barefoot is the fact that when you wear a shoe, your toes get crunched into what's called the toe box or the front of the shoe over and over again repeatedly every single day. So your toes don't get a chance to expand. And when that happens, you are predisposed to having malformed feet over time. So if you're working out on a regular basis barefoot, or as close to barefoot as you can get with maybe a very thin minimalist shoe, your toes get to expand outward like this, and the bottom of your feet literally remodel. And when that happens, you're, you're less likely to suffer injuries, etc., going forward. So that's another benefit right there of working out barefoot. Now, here's another big, big benefit. When you have the thick spongy shoe on and you're working out, and say you're doing deadlifts even, your foot is rocking and rolling like this, so you don't get a lot of grounding into the ground when you're at the gym or wherever you're working out. So when you're barefoot and your toes expand, you can really ground your toes into the floor and create a lot of stability, which is gonna enable you to lift heavier weights because you're not having that unstable surface. So in essence, you're gonna make yourself stronger by working out barefooted, or again, trying to find a minimalist shoe that's very, very thin, that's as close to barefoot as you can get. So that's what I use when I go into the gym. But when I'm outside, like right now, as you can see, I'm barefoot. So if I'm out here, you know, doing kettlebells or doing bodyweight drills or whatever, I'm gonna be barefoot any chance I get. So there are some of the reasons why you should work out barefoot. And please let me know if you have any questions or comments and I'll happily expand on those a little bit. This is Kevin Rail, Chief Fitness Advisor for Train for Longevity and Pine Pond Superfoods. Make sure to like and share our videos and make sure to subscribe to our page. Till next time.